Okay guys, welcome to Wild Campers Edinburgh. These series of videos we're gonna do will just show you how everything works in this camper van, which is called Isla. So first to turn it on, you obviously have your key, drop it in here. What you do is just give it a moment, wait for the lights to go off, be sure it's in neutral, and then just press start. We're turning the key. I'm gonna turn it off. You've obviously got your radio here, and you've got uh, reverse sensors uh, so when you're reversing if you get close to something it will tell you if you're getting close to something you've got USB here you've got 12 volt here and various things here like a GPS notebook if you find anything nice that you would recommend to other customers throughout Scotland uh, and that is it So what I'm going to show you now guys is these passenger seats and the driver's seat. Basically what they do is they swivel around and they can face backwards. Uh, it's a very nice feature to have. Uh, it's very simple to do these. Uh, so what you need to do is first of all there's a lever here, quite a big lever. Uh, you need to put, lift it up and pull the seat forward first. And then there is a small lever, it's like a little bar about that size uh, facing vertically. So what you need to do is push it this way and then as you can see the seat swivels now a lot of time it's quite difficult to get it past this section of the camper van here uh, when you're swiveling the seat so make sure that this is upright like that now what I have you here what you can see here is something known as a leisure battery now this leisure battery here uh, is separate to your engine battery uh, which works the mechanics of the van itself. Uh, what this leisure battery does is it powers various electrical uh, equipment in the camper van, such as these lights, which is here. Various lights dotted around the place. It powers the fridge. It will power these. Uh, the only thing it will not power is this, and you have to be plugged into a campsite for this to work. Okay. Now this leisure battery, which is uh, located under the passenger seat, it charges in two ways. So once you drive the camper van, the leisure battery will charge. Also when you're plugged into a campsite electricity source, uh, this leisure battery will also charge. Okay, thank you. Hi guys, what I'm gonna do now is talk to you about this area of the camper van here. So if I can start here, uh, what we have here is a two hob ring. Uh, and obviously this is uh, powered by gas which is located at the back of the camper van. Once we look at the back of the camper van I'll show you how to access that. It's quite simple. Uh, there's an, a, an ignition here to uh, light the gas. You can uh, obviously change the power of the gas coming out to suit you. It's very very basic. The second one here it's our water uh, and this doesn't move. <coughs> Just turn that on and the water flows. Here what we have is utensils. Sometimes the ignition for some reason doesn't work in this uh, kitchen unit so we've left these in here but that happens. Uh, we also have various plates, pans, tea, coffee, pans etc, glasses and so on. Please be careful putting in cups or whatever into this section here as there's some cables here and it's not a good idea to uh, damage those. Here what we have is our uh, water tank. I think it's about a 12 or maybe 15 litre water tank so it's not massive. Basically what you do to take this out is you twist that yellow, open it, take it out, fill it up, bring it back, and twist this yellow lever back on. Okay, you've also got, for your food, cutting, uh, we try to use eco products where we can, uh, so please don't throw these away because we refill these. Okay, so moving over here to the fridge. Um, so the fridge uh, is very, very good. It's a good fridge. Uh, it's very, very simple how it works. There's a dial, as you can just see right here. And all you need to do is turn the dial. 
and you can hopefully now hear that uh, through the GoPro. I'm just gonna turn it off because we don't need it. And there the sound is gone. So you will hear uh, the sound, you'll hear the sound of the fridge when it's kicking in when you turn it on by turning this dial. There is also um, a, a thermometer just at the base of that. Just be careful uh, putting your food in and out of that because it's again not a good idea to break the thermometer. Uh, what we have over here is two USBs, and as I said, with the D's, or sorry, the um, the leisure battery, uh, these will work off the leisure battery. This is a carbon monoxide detector, and this is here uh, your diesel heater, which works off the diesel in your tank. Now, to turn this on, all you need to do is just very lightly. Sorry, there you go. My wife said short and snappy. And what will happen is hot air will start to come out where the diesel heater is placed under the driver's seat and I can uh, feel it already. It'll probably take a couple of minutes for the air to heat up. Just to turn it off again, all you do, as my wife said, short and snappy and the light is off. We've got this here, which is obviously a fire extinguisher. We leave that. Hopefully you will never need that. We le often leave uh, teas and coffees for you guys to use. We've got a very basic first aid kit over here. We've got a little basin for uh, if you want to do your dishes outside. Um, things like toilet roll we can leave for you guys. This here is obviously you will want privacy at nighttime. Now, as you can see, these windows here uh, at the back of the camper van will have um, curtains, grayed out curtains. But this is for to give you privacy at the front section of the camper van at night for nighttime. And all it does is it attaches onto these here, over here, and here as well. Just here. Uh, these are quite useful as well for uh, keeping it in place. And I think that's it for the moment with uh, this section of the camper van. Hi guys, so what I'm going to do now is talk to you about the bed. So you've got two options uh, in where to sleep. This is probably the most straightforward one, but you can also sleep up here as well. Uh, so, so this one I'm going to speak about now and it operates off a system of levers. Uh, and there's three levers really that you need to be aware of. First one is situated just at the right hand side as I'm looking at it of the of the bed. So what I do is I pull it upwards and with my left hand, I get my left hand here and pull this back. Okay. Now before I put any weight on it, what I'm gonna do is just test it first of all, just to make sure it's locked and it does seem locked. Second lever is this big one here. So I'm just gonna pull that and get it down like that. And your third lever, again, this was your first one. Your second one was here. The third one is here. And what I can do is just push that and get that level. Now at nighttime, if you want to read a book and have your light on here, what you can do is sit uh, upright whatever suits you. So I'm going to push this down here. I'm going to put this back into a sofa now. All I do is get my two hands, lift this back up and it will lock into place. Uh, and I'm going to get back to my first lever. Remember here's your second lever, but I'm going to go back to my first lever and put this back like so. Now, I haven't put it back yet because if there's more than two people traveling in the camper van, you've got to make sure that the safety is showing. So make sure these are, are showing and not locked back here. So while I have you here, what I'm going to talk to you as well is about this table. And what the table does is attaches onto this here. The table is located under this sofa. So what I do is first lever up, it's locked, table, up. 
as you can see here, attaches onto this. This opens up and that's really it. Now, I would really urge you uh, to, to lock this because if you don't lock this, the table is not very stable and uh, you know, things can go flying which you don't want. That's it guys, so I've just spoke to you about how this bed operates and how this table operates. So I'm just gonna put this back in. Hi guys, welcome back. So I'm just gonna talk about uh, what's on offer at the back of the camper van. So um, lights, so if you're sitting up at night time, it's nice to have this light on reading a book. And again, that works off the leisure battery, which I spoke about previously. Um, I've showed you how the um, kitchen works and the two hobs. And I mentioned that it runs off gas. Well, this is your gas. Now, if the gas runs out while you are on your camper van trip throughout Scotland, um, please fill it up. Uh, lots of campsites all over Scotland will have uh, these gas bottles. Uh, keep the receipt and we'll refund you for that. Uh, so to access this, what you need to do is just open this. Now, uh, as you can see, there's this black uh, knob here. Uh, so going back to your school days, Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. So left is turn this gas on, and I would now be able to use the two hobs for cooking purposes. Uh, but obviously when you're traveling, you don't want this on. So what you need to do is righty, tighty, and turn this lever off. If you feel uh, that the gas is running out and the flame is getting a lot smaller uh, when you're cooking, so what you've got to do is twist this gas bottle off, give it to the campsite, replace it it's usually around anywhere between 30 and 40 pounds so i'm just going to secure this to make sure it's righty tidy because we don't need the gas now and um, i'm going to put this back on okay um what we have in here is two camping chairs uh you know if the weather is nice it's nice to sit outside we've got a an outside uh, table as well that you can use if the weather is nice to have a drink or some food uh, there is a gas uh, a gas pipe here so just please be careful uh, don't push things in too aggressively uh, so as to damage not to damage the pipe so this is obviously uh, used if you're in a campsite this end will go into the uh, campsite's electricity source and we need to plug this into the side of the camper van. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that now. So this is where we plug it in. Uh, and what happens is, um, you just open this up. There's a little bit of a, a ledge here. So you just gotta keep this high when you're pushing it in. Squeeze it in. To take it out, there's this blue little uh, lever. So what I do is I press on that blue lever and just put it out. I'm just going to put this back in. There's also this little picnic rug as well that you might find quite useful. Uh, hopefully if you can get some good weather, you can make use of this. I did already tell you that um, when you're reversing the car, there's sensors uh, at the back. You've got curtains. And that's it. Hi guys, welcome back. So I'm just gonna to talk to you about the roof now. So obviously, if you're you know parked up and you wanna stay in a place for a while, a couple of hours or days, uh, it might make sense to have the roof up so you can stand and not you know hurt your back. Uh, but let's say I want to drive off. So what I need to do is take down this roof. So first of all, what I do, do this, close these up and there's, three of these okay and one more at this side okay so that's these vents closed up now what I'm going to do is not with any particular force just lightly bring this down there's a mattress up here. What I'm going to do is just make sure it's in the right position. And what we have here are two pulleys. So I'm just going to pull this down. Again, not with big force. You don't need to push this hard. Make sure this material is in. 
hopefully you can see this here. Make sure they're up top on the magnet. Pull this down nice and easy. You've got to make sure that a door is open as well so air can circulate through the camper van when you're doing this. So I'm just gonna pull this down, pull this down, and it'll just come by itself, like so. Now what you gotta do is tie this up to make sure that everything is safe. So this material that's uh, come down, you've got to push that back behind this here. Okay, so push that material back behind this. Then what you've got to do is get this off the magnet. Push this up, make sure it's over the magnet. And then what you do is twist and push back up. Okay, the secondary lock is that. I didn't get that, do that again. The secondary lock is over here is the exact same. So what I'm going to do over here is get this material, push it back. So that was up on the magnet, get this off the magnet. Then what we need to do is twist, push up, and then your secondary lock. Then what I'm going to do is tighten this up and make it look pretty. Oh. And once we turn this uh, seat around, and the lever is here. We're ready to drive off. Hi guys, so now what I'm going to do is show you how the roof goes up. So we've just uh, shown you how the roof comes down. Uh, now I'm gonna do the opposite thing. So you're in a campsite, uh, you wanna get settled for a few days, weather is nice, you're gonna have the roof up. So what you need to do is the following steps. So open this up first of all. Just leave that hang there for the moment. Release these, there's three of these, like so. Here is your secondary lock. So you release that first by pressing in this. Here's your really important lock. So what you gotta do is pull this, like so, twist it, and put it up on top at the magnet. Same at this side, we've got our secondary lock. Twist, open, up, and very, very simple. Push this up. Okay, uh, now the camps are, now the, the roof is up. Um, at night time, if you wanted to sleep here, so what you can do is put your foot up here, put your foot on the passenger seat, and basically climb up and sleep up here at night time. And I've done it many, many times. It's quite nice, especially in the summertime. There's a, a mattress here, uh, which will hopefully fee, uh, make you feel comfortable. If I want to cook here, uh, obviously all I need to do is just push that up like that. And now I can stand in the camper van and cook. Okay, that's it guys, thank you. Hi guys, so, um, just to finish off our series of videos, uh, two really important things. So this key that Volkswagen uh, gave us is a self-locking key. So what you don't want to do is, you know, leave that key anywhere in the camper van and say, you know, I'm gonna go off for a, a walk for 20 minutes or so on. Uh, you may come back to the camper van and find that you can't get back into the camper van. Always have this key with you at all times. Even if you're just going out of the camper van for a minute or two minutes, that is the reason we put this uh, to make it easy for you guys to have this camper van key with you at all times. So at night time, uh, when you're looking to go to sleep, what you don't want to do 
is use this key system to lock yourself into the camper van. Uh, what this will do is if you press this and lock yourself into the camper van, it will trigger the alarm. Then what happens is, you know, you might move at night time and uh, the alarm will go off and it's happened to me a couple of times, it's, it's not nice. Uh, how you lock yourself into the camper van at night time is by using these buttons here which are on the driver's side uh, just press that to release it in the morning time just open up like that or use the key thank you guys